Ay bu soğan kötü mü olmuş? Evet. What is that? <gülüyor> soğan. Does it smell that? Bu soğan iyiymiş. It's dinner time. We're cooking again. I'm making some pasta and then I'm gonna make a salad for us. <gasps> I didn't really film today because we kind of had a cyst day and we were both working. She's she's listening to Turkish rap. <laughs> we're gonna eat and then go and I'm gonna put on makeup now and Boil the pasta and I said end too much, but see ya. I want to show you my favorite thing. My one of my favorite things. These I got these yesterday, and there's like they're like madeleine med with pistachio. They come like this. And there's ten in a whole bag got these yesterday and there's only four left and I'm the only person eating them so definitely gonna get some more when I'm going home my food versus my sister's food <laughs> that's funny we're eating now yep <laughs> we're gonna go to <laughs> ne Evet, she's saying. <laughs> This is such a chaotic thing. I'm just trying to say that we're going to the gar where we were gonna go out and hopefully we won't stand in line. So. that we wanted to go was closed so we're gonna go try somewhere else now <laughs> going grocery shopping and a little walk and we're gonna buy why are you laughing at me bro because <laughs> i like your like singing voice it's sunny <laughs>
now I'm going to Cafe Caret to meet my sister's friend. If you watched my first Paris video, it's the wonderful soul who bought me the Le Duin book macaron when I came as a welcome <laughs> gift. So we're yes. gonna go meet her and then we're gonna go to an awesome exhibition. <laughs> It's Monday morning. It's about 10 a.m. It's my last full day in Paris. Uh, yesterday we had such an amazing time. It was such a lovely day. So we went off to Café Caret, uh, which is in Trocadéro, which is one of the most luxurious areas in Paris. We went there with my sister and her friend Daham. Yeah, I met her and it was really special for everyone because this is the first time that I'm... My sister has been studying in Paris for four years now and living here in this very studio. And this is the first time that I get to visit her. This is the first time that I'm actually meeting one of her friends abroad and Daham. She's such a big part of her life. So just it was really bonding and she's really sweet and she was just so happy as well it was just really lovely and i practiced my french and then we took some photos at the eiffel uh, tower because where the cafes has when you walk from the cafe like a bit 
it has the Eiffel Tower view from far away. And then oh, I am so excited to talk about this because it was so good. We went to such an amazing, amazing exhibition and we've been trying to get tickets to this since I came here. It's a bit complicated. The reason we couldn't get it was because, you know, museums are supposed to be free for students in Paris, but with COVID and everything, you have to book everything online. And we couldn't do that on the website for free for my sister. So we just kept like starting the process, adding the tickets to the basket and then canceling. And then just two days ago, we were like, okay, I have three days left and we don't think we can go in person and buy it there. It's gonna be complicated. and. If we don't get a time slot, like it, it's gonna be sold out because the exhibition is sold out every day. It's that good. It's an exhibition at Mad Paris, which is short for uh, Musée des Arts Décoratifs. It's right next to the Louvre in that area. There are a lot of museums, but the exhibition is called Thierry Mugler Couturisme, and it was couture done by Thierry Mugler and. It was absolutely insane. It was mind-blowing and just because we had one hour while looking at everything and taking it in, it was so absolutely stunning and gave me so much inspiration that I was also like shooting a lot of photos and videos a lot more than I normally would in an exhibition because I really want to remember every single detail. Both me and my sister are obsessed with details in art and all artistic um, practices, cuisine, fashion, painting, drawing, like anything and this guy was all about details. It was just insane how everything was exhibited. The themes of the spaces changed as you moved and designs of similar themes were arranged and it was just so exciting and there was this one room, I'll put photos here, I really felt like it was reflecting my soul. The room was divided in half and half of it was painted in black, dyed in black and the other half was white and in it were all these designs with the women and more classical outfits and the hats but there was this one figure, there was this one design that was like my alter ego and I'll put photos right here. I was mesmerized but overall it was so it was just such a good setup and all the there were all the designs 3d on the models and next to them were like photos or videos of actual people wearing them in real life like Lady Gaga, David Bowie, like so many others and in some rooms they were like sound effects and visual effects and it was just mind-blowing all the museums all the exhibitions that I saw here were crazy even at the Musée de l'Orangerie. I didn't think I was gonna like the Hockney exhibition because I'm not the biggest fan of that type of art but you know from from far away it looked kind of simpler and like not the kind of art that inter in interested me but as I walked through those pictures go leaning forward I was super impressed with all the details and all the transitions and the thought and the color and the texture and you know being updated and switching to new stuff um, and incorporating technology I think um, it's so important to stay open to things but this Paris trip and the art in it absolutely mesmerized me I really want to go to Champs-Élysées but before I go to Champs-Élysées I want to clean up the apartment a little bit. It's Valentine's Day and I want to make it special for my sister. We have a very nice date planned uh, tonight. We're going to go to a Chinese hot pot place and I just want to clean it up, make it nice and then I want to go to Champs-Élysées because I didn't make it there yet and I want to see the L'Arc de Triomphe and I have a few bits to buy from there. Oh, also this morning I had coffee. I got up. I got up the earliest <laughs> that I ever got up on this trip and I met my friend Zach that we met with my sister the other day, the one that I had drinks with uh, at La Recyclerie. Zach is my friend from high school. This is really 
I think this sounds a bit crazy when, you know, I just say it out of nowhere, but uh, we both went to a uh, high school in Bosnia the last two years of high school we did IB there he's from the US and we were very very close he's one of my best friends in this uh, entire world I don't know if I mentioned this but most of my closest friends they live abroad and I'm not I'm really in touch with like my best best friend like Amina but the others I you know, life got in the way and when we were together we were 16 but it's the kind of friendship that you know is gonna come back and that you, like you're so international that you know you're gonna see each other and you're gonna cross paths at some point. So yeah, I had coffee with him, he works on weekdays and we couldn't meet up yesterday because I was really busy and I really want to spend the last Sunday with my sister but we, I went to where he works, I'm so proud of him. <laughs> all my friends are doing really well so I'm really proud of all my friends. Just inserting a heart here for all my amazing friends. But we went to where he works and we had a morning coffee so it was the perfect day to start Valentine's Day. He was my prom date uh, both years in high school and he's gonna be my forever prom date. Um, so it was the best way to start Valentine's Day and just the day in general. It was so good to see him again like one last time before I left and he gave me so much motivation. I have amazing friends who really helped me through tough times and I have had some tough times in these past three years. It's been quite harsh with some things plus COVID and it was just so nice seeing him. It was so nice starting with like some good energy and yeah let's see where the rest of the day goes. Okay, so I literally just got back to the apartment. Um, it was so rainy outside and I'm so late. Uh, my sister is about to come, but I really wanted to prepare the surprise for her today. So literally she has two metro stops left. So I just quickly prepared this for her. I got her some of her favorite things and I left some of my medicine and skincare for her and these flowers. And I also got some like cheese and like butter and stuff. I was gonna like, next to all this, I was gonna prepare a little mm, cheese board as well with a little bit of baguette, but <laughs> it was so rainy. And then I like even ran to our bakery, our favorite bakery. I went there, it's a bit far, like maybe like six minutes, seven minutes. It was closed, so I just texted her. I was like, hey, can you get like 
a tradition, like a baguette. And I think it's coming from the neighbor, so we're trying to close up the slip <laughs> hole, which leads to the neighbor neighbor's house. <laughs> With like, how do you call it? Tape. It's like hardcore tape. Yeah. It's so toxic and yeah. We're gonna go out now for dinner, so we'll see how it is. <laughs> it's currently 8.15 in the evening and I got ready, my sister got ready, she's doing a last minute outfit change and we're gonna go to our Valentine's date! <laughs> we're gonna have some Chinese hot pot and it's gonna be delish. See you there. Today is a very sad day. Mm. I'm leaving. 